somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn folks today we are continuing our journey with ethan hunt and company this is gonna Meh. be mission impossible 2 this is from 2000 and i have seen this one uh probably around the time it came out i think it's probably the last time i saw it but so don't remember a whole lot other than it's tom cruise and i'm pretty sure it's awesome I saw the first one many a times. Never saw this one. I don't know why. All I remember is that Limp Bizkit has a song in here that they were, that they did not have on MTV in America for whatever reason. It was never shown in America. Obviously, now we can see it because of YouTube, and I think it was a DVD special feature. <laughs> so maybe I saw that one. But I am definitely ready, willing, and able to see the adventures right. continue for Ethan Hunt. Watch for the. Uh, I haven't seen this one either. If this is the first reaction you're catching, uh, we watched the first one that was my first time watch for that one i did see number three in the theater whenever that came out 20 years ago or so yeah. i don't know but after this uh but this will be a first time watch for me uh, a lot of fun with the first one a little bit of like retro throwbacks with their tax so i'm really excited yeah all right without further ado let's go Well, Dimitri, in a search for our hero, Bellerophon. Looks like Richard Dreyfus. The monster, oh, Chimera. give it oh. to himself. Come to see me and accompany me to Atlanta. Got your window now. We have a great view of the Rocky Mountains. Oh, hey. hey. Look who's you keep staring at that watch as if your life depended on it, Doctor. I suppose I'm a bit anxious. I'm with an old friend now, Dimitri. After you've been infected with Chimera. For 20 hours, nothing can save you. We've experienced a slight but abrupt drop in cabin pressure. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Ooh, is this, this guy looks sketchy. Just put on your oxygen mask. I'll see what's going on. It's a hell of a first yeah. class. Well, you know, normally a turtleneck and a suit jacket's the mark of a villain. We've initiated a descent to 1 6,000. Captain. <laughs> Something sketchy's going on here. Oh, that looks like uh, mountains. Well, there are the Rockies. Yeah, it'd be the Rockies. Oh. It seems we have a problem, Dimitri. You keep calling me Dimitri. You really shouldn't. <laughs> oh. oh, the old throat chop. I'll put him out every time. That doesn't seem like an Ethan Hunt move. No. Ah, uh, little DB Cooper action here. Terrain, terrain, pull up. Is he gonna? Oh, oh, this iconic scene, of course, I remember. Yeah. So they had him, oh. they had him climbing, and then he spun around, and then that's when it would show Ben Stiller. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. I don't think you have to have seen this movie to see the him like mm -hmm. is, yeah. where he like hangs. It's, yeah, it's to so famous. This gives me anxiety watching it, even knowing it's just a movie. Yeah, look how he's just—he's got his legs wedged in there to hold him. Yeah. Hey, folks, in the comments, help us out uh, if Tom actually did all this. I think he did, but I'm not 100%. Uh, I don't wild. think he did this. I don't know. He doesn't. Uh, oh, Hans Zimmer. All uh, right. Hans does a lot of his own stunts, but yeah. this is like, this could be like Might be fatal. Yeah. yeah. There's no room for error here. Oh, Tom, what are you doing? Oh, oh. <laughs> my oh. hands are sweating. God dang. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the scene. Yeah, that's Space not real. There's no, no way. There's no way they hung. CGI there. There's no way they hung Tom Cruise like that. So what do you do when you get to the top when he doesn't have a parachute? Like now you gotta, go well, you gotta get a helicopter to come get you. <laughs> There's the yes. biscuit. <laughs> I was not a big fan of Limp Bizkit originally, and they grew on me. Ah! <laughs> a pair of <laughs> dirty pair of Oakleys. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Hunt. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, recovery of a stolen item, 
designated Chimera. It is essential that the third team member be Naya Nordorf Hall. That was Fandy Newton that I saw in there. You have 48 hours to recruit Miss Nordorf Hall. As always, should you or any member of your IM force be caught or killed, the Secretary will disavow all knowledge of your actions. This message will self destruct in five seconds. <laughs> I remember oh, seeing that. Oh, Andrew. that was so cool. Yeah. The way they did the, the sunglass throw and the start of the wick. <laughs> mm. Brilliant. They don't hear her going up the stairs. Mm -hmm. oh, I love the gadgets. Mm -hmm. It's the first one of, of many. That would be a good spot to put a little hiding place. Oh, look at that. Well, well, well. Looky what we have here. I see you found it. <laughs> <laughs> Think you're the only one who can pick a lock? Not just a pretty face after all. <laughs> yeah, until dude wants to come take a bath. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, in the middle of the party, he's going to want about. Do you mind uh, if I'm on top? Either way, it works for me. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts his hands <laughs> right in his head. <laughs> You'll never find him there. His ex's bulgari necklace, it goes up for auction on Tuesday. And are you going to tell me where it is? Far left. This is very disconcerting. Hey, you put me here. I just do as I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was well, being nice, yeah. yeah. Could have been worse. Oh. <sighs> How is that going to stay there? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. What? It is Mr. Keys, our security engineer. Apologize. Haven't you forgotten something? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do, senorita? If you weren't going to let me get away with it, why did you watch me go through it? Oh, I see how good you were. I triggered the alarm. Sorry. <laughs> so you did it again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> rough on the exit. <laughs> Trying to bottom it out. Oh, well, that didn't go as well as uh, oh. I think he hoped it would have. Oh, I mean, he was working that smile, too. I thought it was going to work. Worked on me. <laughs> well, just 23 years later. <laughs> Look at that Motorola. Would you mind slowing down? Would you uh. like it? <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. I think you could use mine. Talking about Scotland Yard, Interpol, I can make them all go away. Well, if you want me, you're going to catch me. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, that wasn't necessary. I say, I don't think that Audi TT is going to outrun that Porsche fair and square. They're having fun? Yeah, uh, that's kind of life or death type stuff right yeah. there. Oh, missed the truck. Uh, this does not no. look real good. Slow yeah, motion, motion hair. But I mean, you got Tom this, Cruise next to yeah, you. Look at hair, this. So you're look at this. Fine. Slow motion. Her hair looks hair. all right, yet his looks immaculate. Yeah. Uh, that's not oh. good. <laughs> right back to the same position they were. <laughs> okay, maybe not hang out there, yeah. though. Wow, we told her her real Willie name. Van well, more than I thought. Awfully short notice. Carried away to decent interval. Who wants to be decent? Not us. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, okay. Not us. Self. Just is get it? in a high action speed chase. Yep. It's taking notes. Quinn's taking notes. <laughs> Who wants <laughs> to be decent? <laughs> this, oh, is this is good. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Oh, did she bail on him? Nope. Oh, mm -hmm. she did not. Damn, you're beautiful. Ah. Oh. Gosh, just <laughs> damn you're beautiful. Oh. Hey, what? 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 <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. I had no uh, idea. Mission I, Impossible. I, 
Jesus. <laughs> Haven't you seen it? I yeah. I have seen it, but I didn't. It's been that long. It's been, it's been a long it's been, time, folks. He's, he's, he's rolls from Titanic. It's been 84 years. <laughs> yeah. Sorry I barged in on your vacation. Well, sorry I didn't let you know where I was. Well, Dimitri, once again I need your help. We created a monster. Come to Sydney and accompany me to Atlanta immediately. I'm sorry. And you are sorry. Dr. Vladimir Nakovich is dead. If he didn't want to go anywhere without me, how did you get him on that flight? Oh, you were there. When I couldn't find you, I had to replace you. And you do think of his Ambrose. You're not surprised. Sean feels he hasn't done the job unless he leaves a lot of hats on the ground. Miss Hall and Ambrose had a relationship. Make sure she continues to see him. Oh, uh, no, bro. <sighs> That's why we don't cross these lines. Yep. yep. If I've told you He's once, like, I just made love to her. I've just, told you. Just yells it. Times. This is information that would have been good <laughs> to have yesterday. Sound as if I was recruiting her for her skills as a thief. Well, then I misled you, or you made the wrong assumption. Oh, oh, that's a good line. She's got no training for this kind of thing. To go to bed with a man and light him? She's a woman. She's got all the training she needs. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Sir Anthony. That's <laughs> uh, not good. Sean Ambrose. Right. And now she knows mm. why she's there. This wasn't what I had in mind, Naya. But it is what you'd like me to do. Would it make you feel any better if I didn't want you to do this? Yeah, much. Then feel better! <laughs> <laughs> not what Tom wanted. Okay. Oh, look at the tension. You could just cut it with a knife. Oh, Drop guitar. a comment below who's got, who's got better hair of these two. <laughs> what wouldn't make him suspicious? I don't know that I needed him in some urgent way. Serious trouble, Naya. Said that I can always arrange. Easy as that. Mm. His transponder chip There's is completely line. untraceable. This is serious oh. trouble. Oh! Ooh. It transmits your location to a satellite, which can be read by only this computer. He knows you're there, and he has the means to get you out. Naya, I'm not going to lose you. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Mm. Got her back in Sydney already. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey all right, there's our guy. Ethan Hunt, get I made up with your bed, but Billy's okay. I'll have a look around. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's throwing off some serious villain vibes. Oh yeah, it is. Computer's up. Right, you got him. Oh, look at that, <laughs> huh? Well, I'm just walking barefoot, huh? Here's what's not coming up. Satellite doesn't work as fast as I do. I just want to say it's an honor and a pleasure to be working with you, boys. I don't think he's got a good feeling about this. It's all in the reflexes. Just... Just they so are just wherever working. we are. They are just working these slow motion these wind machines. Tight, windy chain. shots. Yeah. That's John Wu. And yeah, there's a bloke who knows how to give a proper welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's him, Billy. Yeah, so we got him. We don't know what we've got because we don't know what he's got. I'm incredibly grateful, Sean. How in the world did you find me? How I usually find you, Naya. Magic. With the internet. With the information superhighway, the magics, the world wide webs. No transmissions. She's clean. You can't get over invested, man. She did it. We just rolled up a snowball and tossed it into hell. Now we'll see what chance it has. Try it on. Go ahead. Oh, well, he's moving things awfully quick. I'm dying to see if I remember just size. Just the close-up <laughs> of him <laughs> drooling over here. Being a creeper. Still in love. You're not interested in seeing how it looks? Oh, I am. Oh, boy. Ooh. Our guy Tom, stuck here in this shack in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Sheep farm. Sheep farm, yeah. He's getting all up in his feelings. Well, you know, he's still a young agent. 
This is only his second big mission that we know of. This guy, you got to know better than to get into one high-speed chase and fall in love. Nikorovich was a molecular biologist. Why is he going on about an old Greek myth? I think Nikorovich created a monster virus in Chimera. The antivirus to kill it in Bellerophon. That simple, huh? Why not? Sometimes it doesn't need to be complicated. We'll need this at the track. If we're going to get the other half. Why do you think she's really young? From her point of view, or mine. The question is, do you trust her? Oh, you insult my woman. Hmm. Oh. 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 It's a fairly righty nail, that. Oh. Please. And I may or may not know why she thinks she's here, but I wanted to take the risk. Oh, no. I am gagging for it. <laughs> Oh, just the oh, just, just, the, oh, yeah. just the tip of it. <sighs> just enough. I can't, Are you gonna need can't remember what movie that was as a kid. Leave it in the comments where it was like a mobster did that. that they cut off all the guy's fingers with a cigar clip. I think it's cigar a clip. lot of movies, the old cigar clipper. Because uh, I, I want to say it was like a dark man, one of those back uh, in the day with Liam Neeson, or possibly Invisible Man ones or something like that. Deep in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I to grab a drink. Oh, I was gonna say, I wonder if he was losing a little bit of blood. Pardon me? That's really fine. In the fourth. Check her out, she's due. You can speak as if I'm right by your side. Mounting enclosure just off the track. Two o'clock. How's it going? Just like old times. Abra's <laughs> <laughs> meeting some black in the bar. Who is this guy? Checking now, Ethan. Oh, you have seen him in a few movies. Oh, he's played some epic roles. Ambrose just pulled the camera's memory card and put it into an envelope. Confirm left jacket pocket. Uh, Ambrose is on his way back to you. Are you sure you're up to this? I'll muddle through. They're about to close the bedding, <laughs> and I haven't a beat. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pay for that. And with interest. Oh, Hold on. Left him hanging. Oh. Nice move. Put down a thousand for me. He is blinded by a lot. Huh. Can we make sure Nye is not followed? No worries, mate. Ready to transmit medic table 12. There you go. Good thing. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that, mate. That was so rude. So where's the loo? <laughs> Thanks, mate. Bought her just enough time. Oh, yep. oh yeah. No, the second he notices it missing, do? he's going to remember I'm that she's a her. thief. Yeah. You turn around. <laughs> what are you going to do? Spank me. Luther. <laughs> <laughs> he takes off. I'm booted up. Go, Ethan. Sort of guy. Grotsky. 20 hours after exposure. Oh, they're good for 20 hours, and that's yep. it. Then there's no cure. God. Stamps out of the loo. He's coming out of the tunnel, heading your way, mate. I want you out of Ambrose's place. What are you talking about? Okay, he's coming up behind you, Ethan. If you don't get out of there, I'm coming in and getting you out. You place your bet, man? Just. Ah, uh, he thought he had her. Yeah. Not so fast. <sighs> Not so fast, my friend. Nug's making a look for it on the other side. Oh, wrong Come pocket. Oh, it was in the left. Oh, no. Uh, you picked another winner. I think you noticed, too. Yeah, they had that camera shot on his face. Oh, boy, she's in big trouble. Take care of the Nikolovich memory card. Where is it? My right. Jacket pocket. Well, I see you now. Oh, boy. Whether it's funding the teaching center at the Royal Prince Edward Hospital, your life is our life's work. We've got an opportunity here. I'm not going to miss it. George, take me home. <laughs> rubbish cigar. George. I don't think that's George. No. What the? 
Oh, that's why this cigar Ooh. tasted funny. Oh, no. Oh. oh, maybe not. Okay. I thought they put it in a cigar on him. <laughs> I wonder if that was the old Chimera. Sean. Get any checks out. Let's go back home. Whoops. Ethan. Are you okay? Yeah, I am now. Is it? Is it Ethan? Oh, that's right, because he had the mask on the plane. Oh, no. He's going to get everything out yep. of there and then pull the mask off, isn't he? Yeah, there's no way he would have been there. Wait, what? What is this? A visit from an old friend. You're infected with Chimera, my friend. I need it now, you whacked out Russian gypsy! I needed to know just how bad the disease was in the real world. I needed Chimera in order to peddle Bellerophon. There it is. I've confessed. Get me treated and let's go back to work. It's a little late for that. Do give my regards to Gratsky. Oh, they're gonna give him more? No, yeah, it looks like they're adding more. Or do they just knock him out? I've heard all I need to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, so time to talk. It is critical that you do whatever Ambrose asks. Oh, looks like such a villain there. Yep. Luther, we know this much. Uh, oh, we know. Cut real deep. He's carrying a virus he created, Chimera. Ambrose doesn't have the virus. That's why Ambrose needs McCloy. So we're going to Biosite, kill Chimera. Ambrose has a cure without a disease, and we're all free. So he knows. You'll be going into Biosite. Then we know where it'll be, don't we? Well done, Hugh. Well done. Oh, boy. So hard for, sorry, yeah. sorry about the finger, though. Yeah. You know. Now they're going to dump off our guy now that they got the information out of him. Oi! Yeah, hi, mate. Hi. Take a look at this. All storage and production of Chimera is done here on the 42nd floor. Hunt's target will be the Chimera, stored and manufactured at Biosite. Uh, nice. I like this. We'll back and forth. Yep. You'll never break into Biosite from the bottom where security is heaviest. Lobby's protected by five guards on rotating patrol. Not going in from the ground. Show me the atrium. One of a kind. Runs down through the center of the building. Ends in a glass floor, which doubles as part of the lab ceiling. The atrium roof closes at sundown. And if the louvers are up for more than 40 seconds at night, the civil emergency alarms are tripped. Those even I can't stop. He'll undoubtedly engage in some aerobatic and sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the way they're doing this yeah. back and forth. Yeah, the setup is really cool. Check, check, out copy. Hit fly by fly. Uh -huh. Billy, ready to go? Oh, do we get to see some grappling hook action? There oh. was 2,000 a little little past the days of grappling yeah. hooks. There's a glitch in the access code. Please, baby, open up. Open up. Going down! Ethan, I'm like... Oh. Just in time. Oh. <laughs> 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 Classic. Oh, there's someone right there. Ah, look at that. It's like a replay from the first. 25, 24. Ethan, you've got 19 seconds to clear the cable. Okay, retracting cable. Five, four. Cable's clear. So, just in time. That was a little uh, bit close for comfort. They have three seconds to spare. Come on, guys. Uh, reading package and cable clear. Your breach to lab at the only possible time, whether you're breaking from the ground or the roof, and the rotating guards make the building vulnerable to outbreaking from below. Just a friendly reminder, we'll be out of contact for eight minutes. I need one. Oh, suction cups. Yeah, suction mm -hmm. cups again. Suction cups. So many uses. When it was finished cutting, would it have fallen through? That's why he had that's the suction he, cup. That's why he grabbed it, the suction cup, yeah. Right as it fell. Okay. Yeah. The incubation room where the growth vials are kept. And finally, 
in the inoculation chamber holding the last remaining chimera virus in a three injection gun. He won't be allowed to destroy the virus in those guns. John C. McCloy. Billy, I think we've got a problem. Naya's on the wing up early. Well, then, she's, she's, she's not likely to be alone, is she, mate? I can't get through to Ethan, not till the generators go on. Yeah, well, when's that? Not for another five oh, minutes. Oh, uh, nearly enough time. Five and a half minutes. That's like an eternity in his situation. Chimera in vitro pH and temperature level. Yep. Get her destroyed. Mm -hmm. Chimera working seed stock pH at critical level. Terminated. Terminated. There you go. Come on, Ethan. Oh, just to be sure? <laughs> I guess. That's interesting that Subject. they're getting her signal, but it doesn't look like she's... Yeah. Lisa. What the hell can we do? Hope he kills all the bugs before the yellow dot gets to the red one. Oh, that's right. It's still a nose. There goes one. Mm -hmm. One more to go. I must arrive at my destination within 20 hours of departure. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that. Spin move. Uh, look at that. We got 29 seconds before the generators turn off. Oh, no. Oh, in the puddle, he sees it. The old double gun sliding across the floor. <laughs> sliding across the glass. Come on, who cares how much that coat was? Just in the nick of time. Don't you think there'd be other security rolling into uh, here pretty soon? I'll be 86 the others. Yeah. Remember, it's only him and his small team, too. Yeah. No, I mean, the, uh, the, yeah, the building the security. Building. They're the midnight shift. <laughs> what the fire, damn it! Well, Hunt, how have you been? Finding a bit of a cold. You know, that was the hardest part of having to portray you. Grinning like an idiot every 15 minutes. The part was serving that pressing need of yours to get your gun off. You never figured out where Chimera really was. The only way Nikorovich could smuggle the live virus was by injecting himself while you were knocking him off, destroying the very thing you came for. Ah, uh, interesting. Fast talk, <laughs> <laughs> Hit that bloody gun and you'll spray the virus all over the place! There it is, guys. The last bit. Come on out of here, you bad girl. Oh, yep. I suggest you advise her to pick up the injection gun and bring it to me. You think she's gonna pop herself or mm. pop him with the chimera? How do you know he won't shoot you the minute he's got it? One can't hold Naya responsible for her actions. You know, women, mate, won't let go of one branch till they get a grip on the next. Wow. Get it, Naya. Dick. I am waiting. Things haven't exactly worked out the way you thought they would, Ethan. Don't do it. Sorry. Ooh. You're not gonna shoot me, Sean. Not this bit. Because she's worth 37 million pounds. Yeah. Oh. Oh, All right, now weird. the regular security's coming. What do you think you were doing? Just trying to stop you from getting hurt, that's all. You who don't have a conscience. I guess I lied. Oh, well, we got... Red shirts taking mm -hmm. a lot of fire here. God, what a crazy shootout this is. You can't get us both out of him, can you? Oh. You know you don't have a choice. Just do it. Not my style. Oh. Need to make a door. 
We've got 19 hours and 58 minutes. I'm not going to lose you. God, they oh. just these the way they're <laughs> shooting this is just so like this shot right here. Yeah. And the music. So iconic. Mm -hmm. So cool. What? <laughs> Aim for the bushes. <laughs> That's not going to work. Was that front flip really, yeah, necessary? really necessary? Yeah, necessary. It kind of slowed his momentum Do it a little with bit. Some style. Feel like pleading for your life? Oh, guess not. In just a few hours' time, you can be assured of going down in history as a typhoid Mary of Oz. There's not a chance of locating Naya until I can access the satellite. Naya will take care of Naya. What do you mean? Unless we dose her with Bellerophon, Naya will kill herself. Oh, well, I guess all that, uh... All the rock, rock climbing, climbing paid <laughs> off. <laughs> sure did. Comes in real oh, handy. handy. Yeah. <laughs> you alright, mate? Looks like pretty heavy security from here. Oh, hit him with the Harlem hangover. <laughs> that's, that's Booker T's move. What are you doing? Harlem hangover. That's yeah, what it was. Normally does it off the top rope. Yeah, you do a you do a front flip <laughs> leg drop. The Harlem yep. hangover. Leave it to these two gentlemen. Oh, it's fake. Whoa! Ooh. Look at that. Yo. Good thing there was, you know, birds there to stay yeah. you. Uh oh, Simon's not checking in. Well, we're all right here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll work. Like it's totally wrong. <laughs> Breach the structure, the ten o'clock grading. See if it's the real deal. The blood's loaded with chimera. Oh, so they did draw yep. blood. That's what it was. Yep. And they certainly have Bellerophon, which means I've got thirty million for you. We don't want it, just your cash. What do you want? Stock. Cut it loose, right in the center of town. Naya's been dropped off. I think she's still alive. Just working all these guys. <laughs> I can't <laughs> until I can get the GPS up on our computer. It's still down. How quickly can you manufacture more of the antivirus? No time at all. Once I got it. We need to get our hands on 480,000 options. I will own 51%. I will not let you take control of my company. Sit down. I was aggressive with the chair. Look at that. Oh, a bicycle kick. The old running back backflip back bicycle kick. Mm -hmm. Works every single mm -hmm. time. And a good move by Guile and Street Fighter. The ball's in your court, Mr. McCloy. That day, uh, the old pipe bomb. Yeah. Oh, I've seen the flames in his eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, nice big shot. shot. Oh, I'm a bird. A pigeon. <laughs> uh, CGI was really? a little. Eh, a bird know. flying through the flames, and then this shot. Run that <laughs> bastard down. I feel like we're gonna get like a Roadhouse esque. <laughs> Like, fight between the guy with the blonde hair and oh, Tom Cruise. Got to. We're running short on time, Mr. McCloy. We have got to conclude That's our cool business. The, way they did the, the gun dragging the nose, the swoosh noise. Start the transfer. Uh, <laughs> this guy's like, I'm just the accountant. How'd I get wrapped into this? He's like, I, I couldn't have been upstairs on a phone? Just pigeons again. Ooh. Oh, he got him good. Got there. him. Uh. Raise your hands very slow. That doesn't look Ooh. good by all those tanks. No. Oof. Sean, this rat's reached the end of the maze. Bring him me. Oh, there just that easy. 30 million. Transfer completed. Really, you had to stand up, be so dramatic about it? 
I had to do the focus switch there. It was pretty awesome. Surprised he didn't have an Aussie accent. Some kind of mask swap here. Well uh, done, I, Stump. I don't trust yeah, I think well so. Yeah. With the old the masks. But that seems like it'd be a little bit quick it'd to get a mask to, uh, on yeah. somebody. Plus a facial. Uh, they have to show the facial features had to match earlier. Oh. He's not yeah, yelling, no. though. He's got the duct tape. He's got the tape uh -huh. over his real mouth. Yep. Yeah, I remember. Whatever you got to say, say it now. Oh. oh. Okay, so when's yep. the big reveal going to happen? You going to see the hand? Yep, the hand. Oh, the hand. Oh. oh. Yeah, that little piggy that you took to the markets. That's right. You just took out your number one henchman. Oh, listen now. to the music in the background. Well, it's Hans Zimmer. What do you expect? Yep. Oh, he just uh, bailed. Yep. All right, <laughs> we got the music. Well, hey, when he said I got him or whatever, and then he heard the helicopter, we got to go now. Yep. Hey, no! Oh, is he going to... Back off and keep putting your position! Come on! <laughs> Come on! All right, I can dig it. Uh. Tom loves his bikes. Yes, is he going to get does. on the bike? This must be where it all started. Oh, yes! Oh. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh, 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 clear the way. Got him that time. Oh, he's going to ride right through the flames. Yep. Well, you gotta. Oh, <laughs> look at that shot. Oh, nice. Oh, that was good. That <laughs> was good. Oh, oh you know okay. what? They did this one. And I think they did this one in... Um, Answer, did they do this one in... Uh, in uh, you're you're in thinking Myth of one they did most wanted, the curved bullet. No, I think they did this one in Mythbusters or Hollywood Weapons, one of the two. Oh, okay. I think they did this... Some TV show, they did whether a motorcycle stuntman could spin around like that and shoot accurately, oh. I think. You've got me on GPS! Bring her to me! I thought they had her around a bunch of people. She must have got she away. She must have got yeah, away because she, she knows what's going on. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Big ring. Oh. 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 <laughs> it was, I think, Gary and TNT. <laughs> yeah. They had a bunch the rest of, of his crew. <laughs> had a bunch of gas cans in yeah. there for no reason. All right. Showdown oh, time now with the big right, baddie. Here we go. Uh, I gotta say that Ducati's probably gonna be a little faster, isn't it? Oh. oh. Oh, that's good way to high side it. <laughs> a real good way to high side your bike. <laughs> oh, he's gotta get there just in time. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was cool. Uh, oh, what are they doing? It's going to be like, what are they doing? Oh! <laughs> what was what that? What the hell was that? That's up there with Statham and Toretto slamming into each other. Oh, oh you're going to have some hurt what ribs. Was, what, what, what was the point of that? Vengeance. I mean, it was cool, but... Oh! oh. The old kid. Oh. Oh, we got to watch out for that. Oh, 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 that's a cool shot. Go ahead. Use a hunt. It's a lot better than the way that bitch is going to die. Sounds like the music from the end of Gladiator. Gladiator, yeah. that's what I was thinking earlier. Ooh, backfist. Oh, there she is! Almost rock Almost bottom. I was going to say, it looked like he was setting him up for the old rock bottom. He's raging on this guy. Yeah, he's... Uh... 
Uh, that uh, looks like a little Johnny Lawrence ask from the 1984 <laughs> All Valley Tournament. Oh, Ooh. we got him good with oh, that one. Oh, got him to go up in the air. With I it. actually in a tournament. Oh. In 1999, I saw a, do, a guy do a back jumping spin kick just straight to a guy's face. It was brutal. Oh. Oh, he's had it in his jacket the whole time. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Huh? You should have killed me. Oh, oh the, come up on. the barrel. Oh, that's not what I expected at all. Oh, he got him. I thought he was giving him a wink like he had something stuffed up the barrel of it. I was uh, worried pistol. whether the other guy's stray was going to hit somebody. Miss Hall's blood, it appears, has absolutely no elements of the chimera virus, not even antibodies. I'd be very interested to know how it subsequently got destroyed. Her criminal record will certainly be expunged. Where is she now, by the way? Any idea? I don't know. So, what are your plans? Some sort of vacation? I'll let you know where I'm going. It wouldn't be a vacation if you did. Wow, look at that. Everything worked out. They should have went back to the cliff where, you know, it all started. Uh, all right, uh. folks. There was Mission Impossible 2, 2 from 2000. This one was a lot of fun. And right off the start, <laughs> this just screams of John Woo and, of course, Hans Zimmer's music. Uh, had the nice little cameo by Sir Anthony Hopkins, mm, who, very nice. if you gave me the chance, I would sit there and let him read a phone book for me because it would be that entertaining. The guy just delivers in everything he does. But that being said, I really think that, you know, Mission Impossible 2 was so different from Mission Impossible 1. We had Ethan Hunt's character, you know, doing MMA and all these fights. And <laughs> I mean, I think he threw two punches in the first movie, maybe, when he hit John Voight there on the train and then the little bit of action on the helicopter uh, and with the bullet train and everything. And that was it. The first one was a lot of cloak and dagger working in the shadows, uh, a lot of twists and turns, who's working who, and the whole thing was a big reveal at the end. Where's this one? I thought it was more of a traditional action style movie. We had the awesome motorcycle chases. We had a just some badass fight scenes at the end there. Uh, when they did that scene where uh, he came down on Ethan with the knife and it was like tickling his eyelashes a little bit. That was really, that was mm -hmm. really cool. But, you know, again, kind of a tight story. You know, Ethan only had a, a two man crew working with him. Uh, we're in the first one. He had a couple of more people and then, um, so that yeah, made Jean. for a little bit, yeah, it made for a little bit tighter story. We had we had Jean Reno, of course, from the first one, who I love. But I liked how they did the, uh, where Ethan and uh, Sean were talking about how Ethan was going to break into the building. They're both kind of doing their back and forth mm, a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty And I know these guys haven't seen it, but it kind of reminds me of Heat a little bit. Or maybe you guys have or have not seen I've Heat. I have not seen Heat. But if folks out there who have seen it, you might know. That's one of my favorites. Hopefully we do it for the channel. But anyhow, I liked how they were talking out the plan and how they go through it kind of in live action with almost a narrator. They did that in the first one, and I liked that they brought that back because that's what makes Mission Impossible kind of stand on its own a little bit as its own genre. Um, the stylized fighting and the slow motion. Look, I knew I was going to get to that. Uh, Ethan had some some moves in there yeah. that oh. were a little a little oh. cheese ball, you know, the little hey, the flip hey, over the concrete hey, uh, mixer, hey. the sliding on the ground, dual wielding the pistols. Now look, that's hey. all. He did that's the Harlem Hangover. Great. That's all that matters. He, and he did the Harlem Hangover. Shout out to Booker T, Hall of Famer. But uh, that's a lot of John Woo's style. If you've seen some of his other stuff, that's that's his thing, and that's what he does. And look, I liked it but it was just such a departure from the first Mission Impossible that you knew that this is the direction they were going to go with this franchise. They were going to make it a big blockbuster movie and event, and that's eventually what it became. So, like, they had the all the slow motion with, with the hair and the doves and the going through the fire and the, the scene on the bridge where they blow up the car and he goes through. So that was all a lot of fun. Um, but overall, I really liked it. I do think that I liked the first one a little bit better from a story standpoint. 
a uh, little bit, but this one it sets the groundwork, as I said, of what Mission Impossible would become. I obviously, I, I love the first one so much, but this was, a, you know, coming into this one, I had never seen it before, didn't know what to expect. Yes, you're right, it definitely set the bar, but like you said with the slow motion things, I think the movie could have itself been a, an hour and 20, hour and 25 <laughs> minutes, if there wouldn't have been so many slow motion looking <laughs> and just diving out of the way. Like, shaved I, down a I, bit. I was this close to just putting it on one and a half speed so that way we could get through it a lot quicker but other than that yeah it had a lot more action like you said a lot less punches i think the first one was more geared towards the tv show the tv mm-hmm. show maybe didn't have the budget to have all the big car chases and yeah. fight scenes and stuff like this one did though the first one you know was more of a thinking it was more of the um like john voight being the the total you know cross uh Double, double, agent. double agent double agent Ugh. double cross everyone yeah. so you had that going forward into this and so in this one there was a lot of mind games though you had where you had yeah, uh sh- where you had ambrose dressed up as as ethan hunt not once but twice mm-hmm. fooling us really the first time because we're like well he wouldn't do that yeah. well that's why it wouldn't have been him mm-hmm. and then the second time to fool naya and which it obviously did and then obviously tom then did it in kind back to him with hugh putting the duct tape over and everything like that and then even dressing up also as uh uh vladimir uh nekovich yep yeah nekovich just to, to figure out from mccloy you know what the antidote was so it was kind of fun seeing that stuff too but we had a call back to him coming down on the wire in the in the building and like yep. oh you only have 40 seconds before we <laughs> unclip it but oh we made it just in time and then he had to hide and what i want to know is as he's hiding and there's that glass how the hell can he tell if the guy's not looking in there anymore i mean seriously yeah. there's no way he could have told it's- he, he's, a, he's a spy. He, but he know. it was fun also seeing Ving Rhames back. He, he's great in these movies. He's great in anything he does, really. He really is. Always love enjoy him. Then also, Do Grace Scott as Ambrose. Great in everything oh, he does. Friend. Always great as a bad guy. Thandie Newton, always great when she does. I made the mistake and said Pitch Black. I meant to say Chronicles of Riddick. Flawless. I just, we get she was great in that as well. And then even right on down the line, I mean, even the guy that played Hugh, the Billy Bard, we, like we thought maybe he was going to be a turncoat. Yeah, I said, you guys think, well, we'll get to it, but I thought he was. But yeah, turn, and yeah. so, and then obviously Sir Anthony Hopkins. And then they just, they upped the Annie on this and it was, it was pretty good, but I still like the first one a little more. Just, just because I wanted that gum. You know, I, I like. Red light, green light. I like. Just, hey, just don't chew it. Don't chew it. Don't chew it. <laughs> I like the first one. I really did not, and it, and I, I think we give it a, a really high score. I want to say like high fours. I don't remember right off the top of my head. Um, but we, I, you know, the first one, um, and, and you guys kind of touched on it. It was a little bit more like tack. It felt like a throw. The first one felt like a throwback to like a '60s movie. Like, oh, here's the tech. We're gonna hack into the elevator. We're gonna do all this. Here's how this works. Here's how this works. And it was very, um, it was very like, like spy show, spy kids type. Very, very spy movie. A lot of double crossing and stuff like this. I feel like in this one we didn't really get a lot of the double crossing. There was a couple of using um, masks yeah. to you know trick people, but a, a very different movie. And I think the thing I really loved about this one is this to me does not feel like a 23 year old movie i watched that this, is something to consider you know I, th- I think there was a few special effects you know maybe one where the dove was flying yeah, through the yeah. fire yeah. The pigeon, yeah. and i'm trying yeah. to think of like the special real effects, shiny but nothing jumps out as me to, to me as feeling 23 years old and i know the nature of the movie practical. didn't it didn't yeah a lot of practical yeah. special effects it didn't need a lot of cgi um you know i think you know we're spoiled now with cgi i i you know, I've caught some heat for like, okay, Oak, just relax. It's we're still pretty good for early 2000s. But this movie doesn't feel like it aged. A very different feel um, from the first one overall. And I've only seen um, part three. I saw it when it came out. And the only reason, the only thing I really remember is that Philip Seymour Hoffman is in it. Mm-hmm. And I th- I'm not, you know, and, and, and other than that, I don't know what year it came out, but it, it's got to be close to 20 years ago. So, um, you know, for, for me, I. I feel like I recall three was a little bit more of an action movie, a little bit more in line with this. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I liked this. It felt like a felt like a proper action movie, a little bit less like a spy movie though. Yeah. So um, 
you know, I, I have seen, you know, as answer was scrolling through that it did get some lower ratings. Um, I got to imagine that's from like it got a, it did get a little bit wave away from like a super spy type movie that we got in the first one. Yeah. And so I, I wonder if people um, just were like, you know, more like, hey, this didn't stick to the true, you know, feel of a Mission Impossible. Mm -hmm. And it went more towards, you know, a Tom Cruise early 2000s, lots of explosions, chase scenes type action movie. I thought it was really good. Um, Tom Cruise was great in it, as Answer brought up. Um, Doug, Doug, whatever his name is. Oh, Dougree uh, Scott. Dougree Scott plays such a good bad guy. Um, uh, Thandi Newton. I thought she, you know, she, she didn't have to act a ton. You know, like basically her her acting was like being scared and and pretending like she found like Tom Cruise was attractive, which. I mean that's that's <laughs> not hard acting to do, right? Um, but I, I loved her in, uh, in 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 Westworld. Uh, she's phenomenal. You know, I, I think another part of it is it doesn't feel like it's aged because none of the actors have aged. Yeah. Yeah, like Tom funny. Cruise looks the same. Ving Rhames looked the same. Um, Fanny Newton uh, is every bit as stunning 23 years later as she was when this came out. So having a bunch of actors that don't seem like they've aged a single bit. Um, probably makes the movie feel like you know when you when you watched the first one you felt like oh it's a young Tom Cruise oh it's like a super young uh, yeah. Emilio Estevez oh it's mm -hmm. young John Voight and watching this one obviously Tom Cruise is much younger but it didn't feel like quite as much of a throwback overall great action movie love the car chase scenes love the motorcycle scenes um, you'll have to help me out like I said I'm pretty sure it was a MythBusters or some Hollywood movie that yeah. did his uh, his stoppy and then the endo yeah. Um, uh, but I thought this was a really fun movie. Um, it diff a lot different from the first one, but I, I have to say, I think I enjoyed it overall as a, as a movie watching experience. I think I did like it a little bit better than the first one, which uh, I think puts me in the minority, but just calling it how I see it. My thing so. is, the, we, di we didn't hear Limp Bizkit's take a look around. That's no, the that's one thing. We heard it for like a for just about a 30 bit, seconds. I don't recall hearing Metallica's. I no, I didn't hear I disappear either. at all. But, Which uh, is fine by me. Yeah, I heard I, that. Enough. I don't know, guys. I heard I, that enough the summer of 2000 yeah. when this came out. I, I heard it. This a was. Lot. I thought this was a great action movie. Mm -hmm. If this movie came, if I went to the theaters, you know, this last weekend and saw this movie, I would. I. I, I think, think a I would, lot of those stunts I, though are more practical. Yeah, this right, right. And so I know that. that really, so, it, no, so that really helps. Yeah, yeah, it really helps because look, it, it doesn't. It didn't really age. You know, the cars were cool and stuff like that. They didn't. Well, as we all saw, the Ford Taurus is indestructible. Had a, they had a lot of lot of Tauruses. Yeah, in there. A lot of three of them. Yeah, yeah. But do you guys think that and this is the one thing I was kind of going back and forth with? Do you guys think they relied a little bit too much on the mask gimmick in this one? Because um, they used it like, gosh, four or five times. I think. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, but that is. I think what, it's. I think it's that fun, is what though, Mission right? Impossible yeah. was. Like keeps you guessing. Is it that person? Is it? You know, we kind of knew outside the the compound that it wasn't really. Yeah. Uh, that it wasn't really Ethan, but you know, I, I did like the. Um, I really liked the mask at the end. Yeah. You wait a minute. Putting it on you. Was like when he's like mumble then you're like oh wait he's got that but i i think you could you could argue that maybe they used it a few too many times but it were it worked for me i i thought this was like i thought this was like a really really good action movie yeah. like a really good action movie like I said, i'm probably gonna richard, get richard i'm probably gonna get roasted for the first time for giving something too high of a score <laughs> well, well like I it's mean, usually like the other way i think around. richard should yeah. play uh john mcenroe in a biopic he honestly. does look like him but no i mean i agree with you Oak. i mean the motorcycle chases were great and you know tom wanted to have those in mm -hmm. there he's a big enthusiast of bikes and you know they had uh you know not a crazy car chase scene but they had the car chase scenes in there i liked how as realistic as a hollywood car chase scene could be obviously the suv isn't going to keep up with a triumph speed triple but that that is know, if the cars it, it worked it seemed very practical not too over the top tom had the one jump on the bike that reminded me of gone in 60 seconds where nicholas cage just floats with yeah, the yeah, yeah, when he jumped off of that thing and yeah. he just floated and yeah, landed. Like, uh, <laughs> ah, no but ah, still fun. it all worked for me yeah. brother all of it lead it off know. all right so fella this is going to be the like i said this is really kicks off what mission impossible would become and 
it was a lot of fun. Again, I did like the first one more. I thought the first one was near perfection in terms of a spy type movie. This one was a lot of fun. 3.9 out of five answers for me. Obviously still a very good score, just not as good as the other ones. And like I said, all the elements were there. It's just, they got to put them all together in the blender and, yeah. and make it work. Yeah, it was a lot more fun. I mean, obviously my first first one, is, I love it because probably because of nostalgia, but also probably stayed more true. But this one had a lot more action, a lot of fun. It was still a good movie. Like I would watch it again just because it is so yeah. much fun to get around. So for that, I'm giving it a four out of five answers. I so yeah, I had fun with it. loved it. I loved the first movie. Um, again, for like the spy kind of throwback feel, mm -hmm. we had a lot of fun, nostalgic moments from the first one with like, oh my god, it's a laptop, <laughs> it's connecting to the internet, <laughs> email sent. Yeah, Where that's this, right. This one, I just felt like was, a, I gotta be honest, like I said, I know I'll probably take some heat for this. I thought this was a really good action movie, and when you have a really good action movie, you don't need the best plot. Look, has this plot been done before? The the bio weapon, you've got the cure, whatever. It's been done before. It didn't need to be, you know, that intricate for the type of movie that it was. I am just going off of the the ride and how much I enjoyed it. Tom Cruise's hair. Four point eight for me, which is way oh, higher than I thought. Look, these the slow mo shots got you. Uh, I think like, Andy yeah, got look, to see Tom shirtless look, guys, in that. Am I, so. am I, who's not a sucker for a slow motion scene <laughs> of Tom Cruise's <laughs> hair blowing as he's walking, and then the eye contact scenes? during the dance thing <laughs> we got to give it up to the director brilliant well john brilliant Woo, and then also hans zimmer for the music god it was so good so hey we're two down a little bit what, of gladiator six, music seven, in there i think six seven eight left to go <laughs> so for apple and oak that's mason quinn i'm of course answer we'll catch you on the next one and good night pals